morning guys it's uh 4 53 in the morning right now we're going down to the hunting club try to get us a turkey this morning it's pretty early so decided to kind of stop and get myself something to eat this morning so i'm about to circle k the uh the first time i went on i don't know if you've watched that video or not but uh I stopped at the Circle K and got myself some breakfast. So I tried to recreate it this morning, maybe for some good luck. So I got myself a honey bun, a little clip bar, then uh, some coffee. And um, hopefully that, uh, that'll that bring us some good luck this morning. And the four wheeler, you can see it back there today. I'm gonna take that. I got the plow on the back of it and I actually bought some, um, which I don't think you can see it back here right now. I got all my junk back here, but I actually brought some uh, seeds, some spring seed, summer seed that I'm gonna try to throw out, uh, disc up some of the land to throw out for the deer for the summer. So uh, we'll see if that works or not. But I'll bring you guys back when we get down there. We're gonna try to get down there a little bit before uh, shooting time and see if we can't strike one up with the alcohol. All right guys, we made it out here to the turkey woods. We're gonna get ready to walk over here. We gotta walk a little ways, gotta walk back up in here. So it's gonna take us a little bit to get over there to get to the wood line. Might do a few owl calls and get a little bit darker in there and see if we can't strike one up this morning. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Maybe we can get on one. So, pretty far back in here right now. Blown the owl call quite a few times and haven't heard anything. So I'm just gonna keep pushing back this way and hopefully if we can get one to go off set up one. a gobble by now but i haven't heard a single gobble i'm not entirely sure what to go do but i'm here is a small block of wood so i'm not entirely sure where i need to go or what i need to do here what do y'all do like when y'all don't if y'all are hunting a smaller block of woods and you know you have other areas that you can go to around this area uh what do y'all do if you don't hear a gobble and you don't get on one first thing in the morning especially right now it's probably only like 6 10 6 20 maybe so we have plenty of time. So what do you guys do? Do y'all go to another spot? Do y'all stay here? Just sit down? Because I don't know if the turkeys are here or not. I just, I've had them here before. So I don't know if they're here or not. But let me know what you guys do or like what you think works best. I'm going to walk around for a little bit longer see if I can't get one to gobble. And if I can't get the one to gobble, then we're going to have to make a game time decision whether to set up or go somewhere else. So drop a comment and let me know what you guys would do. I haven't heard the first gobble this morning. I've scared quite a few deer out of here this morning too. So I don't even know if there was a bird on the ground if they would have stayed in here, but I scared like multiple deer walking through here. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. There's been a ton of crows going off. I've heard geese fly over. Nothing's responded to them. So it's only 625 right now. I think that gives me some time to go to another place because this is a pretty small block of woods and I figured if I'm not getting them to hear me right now or gobble at me then it's probably just not going to happen here I think it's a waste of time to sit here and see if they eventually respond so I'm going to walk 
back to the truck. That's pretty right here. Pretty sunrise this morning. They were calling for like 13 miles an hour winds. I don't hear not a lick of wind in sight right now. Perfect, perfect morning. All right, guys. So we moved to another spot. This morning was pretty much a bust. There was no turkeys going off anywhere. Really quiet. Oh, I was scared a crap ton of deer in there, so I probably had something to do with it. They were busting all through the woods and blowing at me. But um, we drove around, and I think I found a bird blown up out here with a hen in a similar spot to where one of the birds we got on last week was. So we're gonna go over here and see if we can't get up on this bird. We gotta walk down this path a little ways, parallel him, and then cut through this bottom. Um, a lot of little stuff will walk on like that gonna make it a little bit difficult to get through the woods but hopefully when we find a bottom and kind of sneak through that bottom and get close to them but uh i'll bring you guys back when we get over there get a little bit closer a few different birds out in front of me and this field strutted out I think there's like at least two of them if not three but they got a hen with them and I got the tom in the previous video you might be able to see him but it's put pretty thick but I got him to, he knows I'm here so <laughs> I'm debating on whether it's a smart move to go grab my tom decoy and try to sneak up closer to the edge of the field 
Because I don't know if I can pull that tom away from that hen to bring him into the woods where I'm at, which is only like 20, 30 yards. So I'm kind of stuck on what to do. I'm in a good spot. I can see him glimpse him in the field like I see the tom right now. All right, I'm gonna try to put this on my head. I see the tom. see him but the hen is working his way to the right. That was a big bird. Right now. He's right there right now. Coming on in here I think. He just doesn't quite like
Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's a big bird, dude. <laughs> I know you guys couldn't quite see that. I'm sorry, but like I didn't have I didn't have a shot. I mean, he was he had one shot right here. You can kind of see the decoys right there. Like the decoys are right there. And uh he has hung up. There's like some thick stuff. There's like a little mound right here. Come in right there and uh that hen was already working her way away from me. As you saw, she come right in the decoys and he gave me one shot right here. And that was it. He gave me that one shot and then he was gonna keep going with that hen back up through here. I mean, once he got to right here, another like two or three steps, I mean, there was no shot. I was gonna be able to get him. So as soon as I got the opportunity to pull the trigger, I knew I had to take him. So that's a pretty good bird. That's the bird that's been out here gobbling all morning. The one we just set up on right there, which is crazy because he was with that hen and he wouldn't leave that hen. So, haha. <laughs> Got it done. One of the things I was doing when he was originally out there, I have like two little, uh, I can't remember what they're called, sticks to hit the slate call with. And one's really good for like soft kind of purring. And the other one's got a little bit more of like a, it grabs the slate and gives it a little bit more of a tick. And I got him fired up and he was gobbling out there. He knew I was there. It's just that he was with that hen. And I saw the hen disappear. Like the hen left him. He'd been strutting out there and she come up through here and then I knew I heard something in the woods coming up and sure enough, you guys saw in the video, she come right to the decoys and she saw something was wrong. So that was awesome though. I hope you guys can see the hen and the decoys. And I know you guys can't really see the shot probably, but I mean, like I said, the, that hen kind of was working her way away from the decoys and more towards the back of the woods straight away from me. And he gave me one look and I had that two gaps, I think. and. The first gap I saw it was him because he had the big red head and I glimpsed his beard. Uh, and the second shot was as soon as he hit that gap, I put it right on his head and pulled the trigger and he folded. So good shot. So I'm glad he didn't fly away like the, in the previous video when that bird I shot took off and flew 400 yards. So he crumbled right here in his tracks. Uh, I, I think he's a bigger bird than the one I killed last time. Oh wow, he doesn't even have a spur on this side. No, this side. Yeah, see, like, he's got some pretty good hooks on him. I mean, those are, that's a solid inch, inch and a quarter, if not more. Good looking beard on him. That's probably a 10, 10 inch beard, maybe. Like I said, we saw him in the field and uh, decided to try to come up here and get a good hunt on him. And we found a bottom, as you can see through the time, uh, time warp one. Uh, found a little bottom where we could like sneak up in here pretty easily and we had a decision to make whether or not to creep up to the edge of this field and risk walking through all this stuff and getting caught or just staying put with where we were at and seeing if we could get him to come to us with some slight calling. I figured that hen would probably leave him eventually and he might would come but uh, it worked out perfectly. I wish it had been him instead of the hen that came in there to the decoy. That would have been really cool but I thought that was sweet that uh that's the first time I've ever called a hen in. I'm pretty excited about that, honestly. I'm just as jacked up about that as I am the uh, the turkey. We're gonna get him uh, carried back to the, the truck and uh, that's tagged out for me. So that's two for the season for me. I'm stoked because I got an engagement party to go to after this actually. Congratulations, Wit and Gabby. Uh, Gabby, I don't even know, think you know yet, but congratulations. I'll see you a little bit later today. I'm also gonna attribute this to uh, my little jinx this morning. You guys remember when I told you I was looking for some good luck. What did I do? I went to the Circle K. I got myself a honey bun, a cliff bar, and coffee, which is exactly what I got that open a day. Came down here by myself and got luck. Got lucky. So I appreciate you guys coming along with me this morning. It's kind of a whirlwind, but uh, we got it done. In case any of you guys were wondering, kind of like vest I'm using. Um, it's just a redhead vest, but uh, it's pretty sweet. I think it's pretty good camo and basically got all these pockets you can keep stuff in it's got a ton of inside pockets on both sides but the thing i like most about it is it's got this little chair set up so some of your other ones they have a little cushion that comes out right here to sit on but this one's got a little chair thing so like it's pretty this is like stiff right here so when you want to sit you fold it down like that and you don't necessarily have to have a tree to put your back against you can just lean it back against it like that bigger thing is, is i've got a pretty good walk out and 
it's got a strap and a little orange flag that where you can put the bird for the bird to go you can strap it up and it carried it on your back pretty easy to put everything in i was carry binoculars my slate call both uh sticks all my gopro stuff pretty much everything that you can think of you need for turkey hunting i carry in it a five out of five review on these yeah sponsored me slow we went to a smaller block of woods this morning to try and see if we can find one pretty quickly get in and out uh, that didn't really work out there wasn't any birds there decided to drive around and just see if we could find something and sure enough we saw a bird hanging out in one of these fields blown up with the hen it's a really good hunt it was a beautiful bird it was a mature bird probably one of the most mature ones I've killed he had an inch and a quarter spurs his beard was right at like ten and a half inches a really heavy bird a beautiful fan i took some pictures so you'll see some pictures here at the end just a great way for me to end the season turkey hunting i appreciate you guys watching uh this has actually been pretty fun for me making these videos and trying to get this stuff on video uh it, it it's super challenging like it's really hard to get these shots and like make sure that i have the right stuff with me and i have the right equipment with me to Makes it a little bit more challenging, but it's exciting. It's cool when they come in and do that. You get like good footage, especially when that hand came in and did that. It was really cool. But I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I hope you guys are enjoying the hunts. We're probably gonna do a little cleaning cook with this one. Uh, so you guys can see how we're starting to make some of this food. Hopefully you guys will like those videos too. And we got some of the, uh, the food plot videos coming up as well. But thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more.